Hello everyone and welcome to another Kadas video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can capture the running log on your Kadas Vim 1, 2, 3 or 3L SBC uh, that is running Android. In my case, I've installed a Android Pi on my Vim 1 SBC over here. And uh, so we're going to capture the running log for Android Pi. Now, uh, what is the running log and why is it important? Well, if your system is behaving abnormally and you are getting some unexpected outputs, uh, it will be necessary to capture information from the running system log. So this log uh, appears as the system is on, as the system is running. Uh, you can even diagnose uh, boot up problems, like when your uh, SBC, your Cutters Vim is booting up and it suddenly hangs or crashes. Uh, the running log will tell you what's wrong and you can also uh, get this from the USB to serial device over here. So you'll need one of these devices to capture the running log for Android. Okay, so this log will help us analyze the Kadas team and solve the problem for you. And this document will teach you how to capture the running log of your system. Okay. So again, you can access this on uh, docs.kadas.com slash android slash vim1 uh, slash capture log dot html. So if I go to the home page of Kadas Docs, I'll show you how to access this document. So we've actually now split the docs into documents into Linux and Android. So if your SPC is running Android, then you click on Android. Okay. And then you select your SBC. In my case, I'm using the Vim one. And under troubleshooting, there is capture running log. So this log is very important because without this log, well, we can't really do much because we don't really know what went wrong with your operating system or with your SBC. Okay. So let's go through the steps and uh, learn how to capture the running log for the Android operating system. Okay. So login via the serial terminal is important uh, for us to uh, debug boot up errors. Okay. So let's click on this, refer to the article setup serial debug tool, which will bring us to this page over here. Okay. So preparation, you will need a serial debugging tool. In this guide, we will use something called a USB to TTL uh, converter, which I have over here. So this is a USB to TTL converter. It's plugged into my PC, it's a USB port and a three pins, a transmit, receive and ground pin, which is here over here and connected to my Vim1 over here. So I lift up my Vim1. You can see uh, that it's connected to pins 19, 18 and 17 on my SPC, right? You can see the wires here. Okay, put it back down and you can see here it's also connected. If I tilt the camera, you'll be able to see it. Okay, maybe not so clear. Yeah, I think now you can see it. Okay. So I'll just explain how uh, this is connected. All right, so you just have to look at the connections over here. And you'll see that the ground pin of your uh, USB device has to be connected to pin 17 of your Vim's GPIO. So you look under Vim 1 Beginner's Guide, because in my case, I'm using a Vim 1. If you're using Vim 3, please refer to Vim 3 Guide. Uh, ground pin is 17. This black one over here, and it's 20, 19, 18, 17, right? So from the left side of your Vim 1, Okay, so this is pin 20 and 20, 19, 18, 17. The top row, the bottom row is uh, 40. So the top row starts at 20, 19, and the bottom row is 40, 39, and so on and so forth, okay? Right. So ground pin is uh, pin 17. Uh, the transmit pin of your tool, it's written on the tool itself, connects to pin 18 of your Vim's GPIO this one which is the receive pin so the transmit is connected to the receive pin all right and 
The receive pin on your tool is obviously connected to pin 19 on the Vim and pin 19 is the transmit pin. So the transmit pin on your SPC must be connected to the receive pin on your tool. Okay, so it's reverse. So you don't transmit the you don't connect transmit to transmit, but you connect the transmit to the receive and the receive to the transmit. Of course, ground is ground, and in my case, the black wire over here is ground. Okay. Uh, let's see what else do we need. Okay, let's go back here. So there's a little reference picture over here. You can see the wires how they're connected. It's pin twenty. 19, 18, and 17. Okay, it's it's very simple. You just look at the tool, you look at SPC, and you look at this GPIO diagram, and you can figure it out, right? It's no problem at all. Uh, let's see, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I'm going to explain to you on Windows, because I think most Linux users know how to do this, and Mac is very similar to Linux. Basically, Mac is a Unix kernel, and, you know, Linux is Linux kernel, which is based on Unix. Uh, the exception is Windows, so this is video is meant for Windows users, okay? Uh, so for Windows, you'll need to install the USB to TTL converter driver, and uh, it's the our device, which I have over here, is the CH340 device. So you just download the Windows driver from this link over here. Here's a direct download. Unzip it and run the installer. Then you need to install another software called Secure CRT, uh, and you can get it from this link over here. And I'll also leave it in the uh, video description. And this uh, link will take you to Van Dyke software. So this software again is available for Windows, available for Mac, and is available for Linux. And what this software is going to do is that it will enable you to read the output from your USB to TTL converter device. As you can see, I'm tapping on it with my finger here. Okay, so you just click on this one, Secure CRT9, and uh, as you can see, I've already downloaded and installed it. Okay. All right, so my Vim one over here uh, is connected via USB-C K power. Uh, this is necessary. If you don't have this, obviously you cannot communicate with the Android operating system. So you need to power up your Vim 1. Okay, so Vim 1 is powered up or Vim 3 is powered up by USB-C. Then your uh, serial pins are connected like this. Okay. And the device is connected to your PC's USB port and the pins are all correctly connected, right? And now we can run this software called Secure CRT. Okay, so I have it on my desktop and I'm running it on a trial. Let's click agree. Okay, so I have uh, connected before, as you can see here. But I'm just going to show you how to do it again. So you go to File, Quick Connect, and under Protocol, you select Serial. Okay, and we can refer to this diagram over here. All right, so let's look at this diagram. Uh, the board rate is 115, 200. These are all defaults, and this is turned off. Let's see, yeah. Okay, so everything is done. You just click Connect, and you'll get this blank screen. So if your Android operating system is already booted up, what you have to do is just press Enter on your keyboard, right, and you get the console, Command Console, and if you LS, of course, you'll see the file system of your Android board. Uh, but what I'm going to show you now is that since we're already connected via the serial connection, I'm going to actually reboot my Vim1 and you can see my uh, device booting up and the boot log. Okay. So here's my Vim1, it's on at the moment. So we're going to pluck out the uh, USB-C cable and we're going to plug it back in. Okay. And straight away, as my Vim1 is booting up into Android OS, you can see that this is the startup boot log. So this is also very useful for diagnosing boot errors, right? So if you're a developer or you're learning how to be a developer and uh, you're running some you know, new OS on your Kadas Vim board, you need one of these USB to TTL converters. Uh, 
basically to check the log as it's booting up and then you can send the log to us on uh, Kata's forum and on Kata's forum we can help you diagnose what's going on okay so we're just gonna wait for the board to boot up okay but anyway if you press enter you'll get the console all right so now that we've got the console, we can actually go back to this article, capture running log. So we need to get root privileges. We just follow these instructions here. Okay, so SU. Okay, you notice that when I do an SU, right, the dollar sign changes into a hex sign. So we have root privileges. And then I need to fetch the system kernel information. So I'm just going to copy this inside here, uh -huh. press enter, fetch system log information, you can do this log cat thing, okay, boop, and basically log cat will just keep running and running and running, so you basically what you can do is, uh, you can turn on log cat and then you just, you know, try to reproduce error you know, by by your standard HDMI display, keyboard and mouse. Uh, so as you use the Android operating system, if you know that if your display, your keyboard and mouse, you just try to reproduce the error, and log cat will will be running in the background. So the log will basically dump out. Okay, uh, and once you are done, you just press Control C. Okay, to so stop log cat, and uh, the files are over here. Under doo, doo, doo. okay, under storage, and what you can do is that you can actually just plug an SD card into your uh, Vim device. Just plug it into the back over here, and then you can copy the log files into the SD card, right? And uh, put it onto Kata's forum on from your PC, or you can also uh, open a network connection using the terminal and send it off to a file server somewhere okay so it's very easy i'm going to show you for example cat kernel log so you can see this is the entire log file uh, being displayed on the screen and you can just copy out this file and you know send it over to uh send it over to forum.cutters.com okay so if you're on this forum, uh, then you just select your device. For example, using Vim3, you select Vim3. You know, you create a new topic. Uh, and then you just attach a link to your log file. And that will help you a lot. So if you don't know who to find, uh, you can just show you this one. If you don't know who to find, when you go to our forum, uh, you have this sticky on the top here. And let's say Android, then you can find these three guys, uh, 10k, JSL, go enjoy. If you're running Linux uh, and you have a log captured from Linux, uh, in the previous video I showed you how to do that, you can find numqq or frank. Okay, so it's very simple. Uh, you just need this uh, USB to TTL debugging tool. And if we, as an example over here, I'll just show you. Right. So this is the tool, and uh, the one that we're using is called the CH340. So that's what our uh, driver is going to work with, a CH340. Okay? But I believe this tool is pretty standard, and the driver is also very standard. Yeah. So there are probably many vendors, so you can just get the tool from whichever vendor is most convenient, and the driver will uh, work. Okay, and these pins over here, just remember to follow the instructions on this uh, page, Android Vim 1 Setup Serial Tool, and you'll be uh, good to go. Alright, so thank you for watching this video, and I hope you've learned uh, how to capture the uh, log from your Android device, okay, it's for debugging purposes, and it's very useful, not only for the operating system, but also for diagnosing boot errors uh, when the system is starting up. So, for instance, if... You know, some your SBC is damaged and you cannot access the ports for some reason. Uh, then this GPIO output will also help you diagnose the issue, uh, without having to plug in 
play HDMI monitor, keyboard and mouse, you know, in, in some dire circumstance, okay? Alright, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.